Hello, this is Mr. Tolle, and today we're going to speak about Unit 8. Unit 8 and the Hello book, and Unit 8 is called Logos. So now we're going to see what do we have in Unit 8. We're going to see the objectives. So the objectives are, first of all, we have the leading part, and it's all about online posts about the advantages of new technology. And then we have the lighting part, and it's about an essay about the advantages and disadvantages of having the technology in the house. And then the last thing in the language, the grammar part, and it's about the, the zero first and second conditionals, of course, F conditionals. So now we're going to start with the new vocabulary, the new vocabulary words in the, uh, in the unit, in unit eight. The first one is the word click. And then the one, the next one is familiar, invention, navigate, vehicle, GPS, hybrid vehicle, and the internet. So now let's take them one by one. Uh, the first one, the word click. The word click means uh, um, a short, sharp sound as of a switch being operated or of two hard objects coming quickly into contact. So click is when you click on something or if you, when you uh, uh, make a, sharp, a short or sharp sound of a switch. Uh, the second one or the second word is the second vocabulary word is the word familiar and the word familiar means well known from long or close association so the word familiar it means well known uh, 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 from a long from long or close association uh, all in a, a close uh, friendship the next one is the word invention and the word invention the word invention means um, the, the, the action of inventing something, typically a process or device. And then we have the word navigate. And the word navigate, it means, the word navigate, uh, it means uh, plan and direct the, the, the route or course of a ship, aircraft or other form of transportation. And then we have the, the word vehicle. And the word vehicle, it is, we can say it vehicle, or we can say it vehicle. Some people say, uh, pronounce it uh, vehicle, and some others pronounce it vehicle. And vehicle, it, it is, or vehicle, it's a thing used for transporting people or goods, especially on land, such as car, truck, or cart. This is the word vehicle. And then we have the GPS, the global positioning system, and the GPS is what we use uh, uh, to uh, show us the, the ways or the routes uh, as we do on the mobile phones uh, on Google Maps, for example. And then we have the hybrid vehicles and the hybrid vehicles, it, it, these uh, are the vehicles that are uh, that run on uh, electricity and uh, petrol. These are called the hybrid vehicles or the vehicles that run on uh, uh, electricity. And then we, the last thing we have is the internet and the internet, of course, we know the internet, it is the, 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 the network that we use network that we used to go online to websites. Uh, next next slide here, or next point here, or the, the other new vocabularies we have, we have the word translation, and the word translation, it is it means uh, to uh, translate or to change the, uh, to, to, to take a text from a, a language, a source language to another uh, target language. Uh, the process of translating words or text from one language into another. And then we have the word app or the word application. The word app, it is what we use uh, on our mobile phones and an application, especially as downloaded by user to a mobile device. This is called the word, this is the word app. And then we have the word quiz and the word quiz, it is uh, an exam or to ask someone questions, to make a quiz, uh, to, to, to ask uh, some questions or to ask questions to some people. And then we have the word chat, and chat is what we what we do online. Is when you speak to your friends, when you speak to you uh, 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 to anyone online using your mobile, like on WhatsApp, on Facebook, Instagram, and all of these social media applications. And it's a, it's 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 kind of talking a friendly and informal way. This is chat. And then the last one is the word feedback, and the word feedback it it means when you give someone your opinion or information about the actions to a product, person's performance uh, of a task which is used as a basis for improvement. So this is the word feedback. And then we have some expressions and phrases. We have find out, find out, get around, go out, drive the engine, get lost, get nervous, give directions and go abroad. 
So find out, it means when you find something, get around is when you get around something. Go out is when you leave uh, a place. Drive the engine is when you start the engine. Get lost is it means when you, uh, when someone is lost, someone doesn't know the way back. Get nervous is someone when, when someone loses the, his nerve. Give directions, it's when someone, when someone gives directions to uh, a certain place. And go upload is when you leave the country. And then the next part here we have most of the time putting parts together, it's collecting parts together. Interested in is when you like something, lead to it is, it means when something uh, takes you to um, um, a place or a point. Ride on, it's when you ride on something like a bicycle, like a bike. Send to, it's when you click send to someone. Travel on, it's when you travel and walk around is when you take a, a, a walk around something. So these are the exhibitions and phases that we have for this, uh, for this, uh, 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 a unit. And then we have the lighting part. Here the lighting part, as we said, it speaks about the advantages and the advantages and disadvantages of technology. Uh, so here we have uh, 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 this part, this uh, uh, text here. It says, I have chosen the robot as the best invention. A robot is a machine that is controlled by a computer. Robots can do some of the things that people can can do, like cleaning or putting parts together in a car factory. We have had robots for a long time, but today robots can do a lot more things than robots can do in the past. In my opinion, the robot is the best invention because it makes people's lives easier and it helps companies to save money when they make things like cars. So this uh, this is the uh, this is the lighting. This is kind of a lighting. Or this is a way how to write uh, 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 a text or something. Um, <clears throat> so this is the writing part. Uh, and then the next part, or uh, the next thing that we have here is the reading part. So the reading here, the reading is about the, uh, uh, the uh, reading about the inventions or the technology in, in the house. So here we have three people. We have uh, sorry, we have three parts, three text parts. Uh, the first one is Bahir, and then the second one is Khadija. Uh, so Bahir speaks about the internet, and he says he says that the internet is the best invention uh, we uh, we could have because it make it made things easier for people. And then Khadija, she speaks about uh, the GPS, and she, she speaks about vehicles, and especially hybrid vehicles. And uh, so Khadija says that GPS, the global positioning system, it's it 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 made. Uh, 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 um, it made you, or oh, it, it gives you directions easier and it makes you go to places uh, on an easy way, an easier way. And that shows on when we use the Google Maps, for example. And then she speaks about the hybrid vehicles. The hybrid vehicles are the, the future. The future will be in the, uh, the, the Bitzel, not the Bitzel. It will be uh, about uh, uh, the electrical cars and the hybrid vehicles and so on. Uh, so now we go going forward to the language part, the, the grammar part, it's about the zero conditional, the, 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 the first conditional of F. And uh, here it says, use the zero condition to talk about facts and actions that are usually true. Uh, things that are the, the facts, uh, facts, when we speak about facts, uh, in the present simple, we use the zero conditional. Number one, if I need help with the school project, I look online, it's my habit, so this is a habit. So as we can see, we use the zero conditional. The next example, if you boil water, it changes into steam. So this is a fact when you boil water uh, uh, at a certain uh, 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 temperature, it changes into steam. And then the next example, if wood, if wood, wood is burned, it gives off much smoke. So this is also, this is also a, a fact. And as we can see here, uh, uh, this is a fact that when the wet wood uh, uh, is burned, it makes or it gives, or it produces, um, um, more smoke or much smoke. Uh, if there's a fire, call the fire department. So this is also a fact. If we if we have any fire, we go directly and call the fire department. And then the last one, it is, uh, it is if um, you see my father, uh, don't tell him about my results. And this is also um, uh, something that is in the present. A fact that I had uh, or I got bad results. So now. Don't tell my father about these results. And then we have the first conditional. Uh, we say, or we use it here, uh, use the first conditional to talk about things that, that we think are possible or probable in the future, things that might happen in the future. Um, the first example, it says, if I need help with our, with, uh, our project, I'll call you. 
in the, the next example, it says if the bus arrives late, I'll take a taxi. And the last example, it says if she's better tomorrow, she'll come to school. So these are all examples about things that might happen in the future. They might, they might be possible in the future. Things that will happen, might happen and might not happen, but we think that are possible or probable in the future. There's a possibility that they will happen. Um, and then uh, the last one, the second conditional, it, uh, we have two usages for, these, uh, for this conditional. The first usage, usage it is uh, 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 to talk about events that are possible but unlikely to happen. Like <clears throat> the examples we have here, if I got a bad grade for this project, I would be really unhappy. So this, so this is something that's possible, but unlikely to happen. And then the next one, if he went faster, he would catch the bus. So he might not be able to go faster, but if he went faster, he would catch the bus. And the last one, the last example, if it, it says if he slept early, he would get up early. So this is something that's, that's possible, but unlikely to happen. Why? Because he might be uh, 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 sleep or he might sleep uh, late so he might get up late so this is the first usage of the second conditional the second usage it is when we say uh, uh, use the second conditional to talk about indirect advice if i were you i'd read this book if i were you i'd see the doctor and if i were you i'd study hard to get high marks so this is the usage or this, this is the second usage of the uh, the, uh, the last conditional so that's what we have for today. Thank you so much for your time and have a good day. Goodbye.